I'm Grant Alexander. This is my harmonica. This is me as a kid, and that's the same harmonica. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I made a wet formed leather sheath to protect this wonderful thing that I've had since I was a baby. Stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy. This project actually started in Fusion 360. I took a picture of the harmonica, I uploaded it as a canvas, and I reversed it. Once I had done that, I was able to trace out the letters and I was able to get this little simple stamp, which I extruded, and I'll turn off that and rotate. So you can see, I extruded the letters and made this fun little stamp. And now we'll head over to the 3D printer. Now that the robot has done its job, I can get to work on the leather part. I grabbed a bit of leather that was about twice as big as I thought I needed and cut it out. For the stamp to leave an imprint, you have to wet the leather down. I added some wood to spread the pressure and clamped it down. I left it overnight to dry and was pretty pleased with the result. So now that we've made the stamp, I can turn that off. And what I did is I made a stand-in for the harmonica. It's about the same size and you know approximate shape as the harmonica. I didn't need it to be exact, so I just went with a rectangle. Um, and then from that, I created some offsets and created this little uh, rectangular mold or U-shaped mold. And as you can see on the bottom, I added a bit of a round over and this helps with the leather mold. And now back to the 3D printer. Having a robot like this is nice because it can be making while I'm off doing other stuff. I filled a bucket with water and drop the leather into it to soak. To protect the harmonica, I covered it in plastic wrap. I lined up the lettering as best as I could and then formed the leather over top of the harmonica. The more you work the leather, the better the final piece will look. Again, it got set into the clamps to dry overnight. Once dried, I had an almost exact copy of the harmonica. I cut off the excess leather. Using a small round object as a guide, I cut out a spot that will allow me to grab the harmonica with my thumb. To make the back, I used a scrap of leather and used the mold as a guide to trace out where the contact cement will go. I applied it to both sides with a foam brush. Once the cement had dried to the touch, I attached the two layers. I also added a thumb hole to the back side. I used my dividers to mark out a stitching line. Then added stitching holes using my pricking irons. It felt a bit fat at this point, so I trimmed off some excess. I sanded the edges smooth and used an edge beveler to remove the slight mushrooming left over from the sanding. All of the edges got sealed with gum tragacanth. For the spots I couldn't reach with the fat end of the slicker, I used the pointy end. 
I picked out some wax thread and using a saddle stitch technique, I sewed the two pieces together. I cut off the excess thread and then melted the thread with a lighter. This will ensure it doesn't pull out. To seal the leather, I applied Neat's Foot oil and Carnuba cream. I hope you enjoyed that video where I made this wet formed leather case for my harmonica. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. It was a lot of fun. And until next time, cheers and have a great day.